Hey guys, all right, so I'm going to direct sow some seeds into the holes that I just burned. Again, they're um, a little bit bigger spacing than the anemone and ranunculus. Those are about four inch spacing and these guys needed about, I read about 12 inches. I put them in there a little bit tighter than that. Um, so I looked at the spacing and then I, I also like to look at the height. So this garden bed, I kind of want the tallest at the back and the shortest at the front. So that's why I'm gonna go with the Ami green mist back here. And in the middle, I'll do some dill. And then towards the front, we'll do the burplurum. Um, I'm holding a butter knife because when I'm working with really small things, um, I know there's a lot of garden tools out there, but I saw someone else do this and I really love just, you know, if you just have to move the dirt just a little bit, um, butter knife does the trick. All right, so. This is the Ami, and if you want to come in here and see how tiny these seeds are. Super tiny. So, I'm just going to try to be careful of the wind here. So I've got, I'll probably do, yeah, I think 12 of each kind. So, Timmy, if you want to get right down here where I'm going to plant first. So this is one of my holes. I'm just going to move a little bit. They're so tiny. I mean, you don't need to go deep at all. And I'll just put a few in there and then cover it back up. And it is really, really that easy. All right, and then we'll go to this next one. And just cover it up. Um, when I started planting, I used or tried to use garden gloves. I just think you cannot manipulate things very well with garden gloves on. So now I just wear my dirty hands and fingernails like a badge of honor. And it just is what it is. This ground is really, really moist. So I don't even know if I'll water them usually you water everything in but man we have gotten a ton of rain the past week um, right now as i'm kneeling on this weed barrier my knees and my jeans are soaked so i think we will just let them be Almost done with the Ami. Cannot wait to see these guys in all their glory. Just put all that in there. They're so tiny. Okay, so that's all for the Ami Green Mist. And now we're going to move on to Dill. Ver Verling? I don't really know. It's supposed to be green, ferny. Oh man, these are much bigger. Look at those. So we'll go just a tad deeper. I heard that a good rule of thumb is to just plant seeds about double their size. Um, so that's what I do. Sometimes I get it wrong and there's something particular, but usually it does just fine. I always put two or three in each hole because not all seeds will germinate and it's better to thin them out than to have empty holes. Timmy, is this my second row of dill or third? This is your second. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Everything looks the same after a while. So today is March 20th, which means we will have quite a few more frosts, but these three plants specifically on the back of the envelopes, those that have instructions, it says you can that the preferred way to sow them is outside two to four weeks before your last frost, which means the frost is not going to kill them. So that's really, really exciting don't have to worry about that. Okay, dill is in there. Last 12 holes will be Bupurum. 
Yeah, and you know, a lot of people ask about how you know when to plant. It's really just like directions on a recipe. Um, when to sow outside, that was recommended two to four weeks before your average last frost date. So let's get these guys into the ground. Okay, they're a decent size as well. So that's the Bupleurum. I sure hope I'm saying that right. Tim and I were on a date not too long ago in St. Louis, and I love going to Trader Joe's whenever we're over there. So I was getting some fresh flowers, because I always have them, and I got some beautiful greenery. Little did I know, I already had the seeds for it, and I was planting to grow, planning to grow it this year, and it was Bupleurum. Oh my gosh, I just loved it. It had about a week and a half worth of base life, and as all the other flowers faded, the Bupleurum was going strong. It was such a light, airy filler and foliage. Oh, you know what? I did this wrong, guys. Here, let's look at this. Special germination instructions. Light aids germination. I don't know if that's clear. Here. There we go. Press seed into soil surface. Okay. So, I'm just going to plant right over what I planted. They're just seed, like, the, you know, you get so many. Okay, live and learn. So instead of using my knife to dig a hole, we're just going to literally do what it says and just press it into the, so to the soil surface because the light helps them to germinate. So that's even easier than using a butter knife. So all those ones I planted in the ground probably will not germinate. And if they do, then I'll just have extra to thin out. Can you explain to us exactly what thinning is? Thinning is when you have a few plants right next to each other, little seedlings coming up, and you decide that they're not going to make it, so you have to just cut at the soil level the ones that look not as strong. And that way the one strongest plant has all the room and all the soil and nutrients and all the water and they're not fighting against each other. All right. So I think I will water these a little bit since those just went right on the surface. I don't want them to dry out and fly away. So let's see, that was 12 times three, 36 places planted. We'll see how it goes.